This is SketchXML. SketchXML is an application that allows the designer to, to sketch the future user interface. So you can you use uh, this kind of tablet using a pen and you can roll the, the interface using a, a combination of vectorial shapes. So for instance, if you want to draw a, a checkbox, a, a checkbox is made of made up of a square and a line. Then once the system has and, uh, handled both uh, both shapes, it tries to uh, it tests several constraints to see if these two shapes can be associated to build a widget. In this case, it's a checkbox. But we can have other type of widgets. For instance, we have a large rectangle. We have a line inside. Then we have a text area with one line. Then we draw a second line. And we have a text area containing uh, two lines. But each time we draw a new, uh, a new shape, we have to wait half a second between the previous stroke and the new one. Uh, you can draw sh uh, shapes using multiple strokes. For instance, this is a rectangle. So we have to, to capture the information that this, all these strokes must be considered as only one shape and not four different strokes. So that's why it, uh, once uh, the mouse is over or the, the pen is not in contact anymore with the screen, after one uh, alpha second, then the shape is considered to be finished and then the shape is uh, recognized and interpreted. So we have our uh, rectangle. So if we draw the line for the first one and the second one, that means that we have to wait firstly half a second between this rectangle and this line, then one more uh, uh, 15 milliseconds between the, this line and the second one. So there is a delay of one second and half. To this aim, we have developed a new recognition engine that allowed to, to recognize the widgets directly even if we do, do not respect the delay between the, uh, the different vectorial shapes. So you can see for the moment that the widget appears in red. The red means that this widget is not recognized for the moment. So we have developed a training uh, interface. So for instance, it was the text area. And we can provide a new re a representation for, for this text area. So let's say, okay, so now I validated this gesture and this gesture is going to be a text area. So, so now that we have specified a new representation for the text area in the, the training interface, we can draw the widget without any delay between the different strokes. We don't have to wait half a second. So then this widget is recognized, but we can still combine it with other vectorial shapes. So for instance, I have, I have added a new shape. This is a line. And then this line is part of this widget. So this widget is made up of a gesture and a vectorial shape. So of course we can define a representation for other uh, component. For instance, let's draw a radio button. Okay, we have one presentation for a radio button. Let's provide the second one. This one looks good. And let's provide a representation for the slide. So now we have the slider. This is a slider. Then we have a radio button. 